Once upon a time, in a peaceful little village, there was a girl named Isla. She was a curious and adventurous soul, always looking for new experiences. She loved to explore the nearby woods and meadows, and her greatest wish was to discover something magical. One sunny day, while Ayla was picking flowers in the forest, she stumbled upon a hidden cave. Its entrance was covered with stunning, colourful crystals. Ayla couldn't resist the allure of these mysterious gems, so she stepped inside. As she ventured deeper into the cave, the crystals started to emit a soft, enchanting glow. The further Isla went, the brighter the light became. She felt a strange, tingling sensation, and before she knew it, she was transported into a magical world. This new world was indescribably beautiful. The sky was filled with twinkling stars, and a bright full moon shone down on a landscape of lush gardens and sparkling rivers. Isla couldn't believe her eyes. She was finally in a place filled with magic. As Isla wandered through this enchanting land, she met many fascinating creatures. There were talking animals, fairies, and even a wise old wizard. The wizard saw that Ayla was new to their world, so he decided to tell her about its history and its magical ways. Ayla learned that the magical world she had discovered was called Lumina, and it was a place where all forms of magic existed in harmony. The wizard explained that Lumina was a reflection of the hopes and dreams of people from the real world. As Ayla explored Lumina, she realized that all her wishes were coming true. She befriended a beautiful unicorn, flew through the sky on the back of a majestic dragon, and was even able to cast spells with the help of the wise wizard. Days turned into weeks, and Ayla was having the time of her life. However, she couldn't help but feel a nagging sense of longing for her home and family. She began to wonder if the endless magic of Lumina was really enough to make her truly happy. One day, as Ayla was walking by the riverside, deep in thought, she met a wise old owl. The owl had been observing Ayla from afar and sensed her homesickness. He perched himself on a branch near her and spoke softly. Ayla, you seem troubled. May I help you? Ayla shared her feelings with the owl explaining how she missed her family and the simple pleasures of her village. She also expressed her concerns about the lack of challenges and struggles in this magical world. The wise owl nodded and said, Magic is a wondrous thing, but it is only one aspect of life. The real world where you come from may lack magic, but it is full of love, laughter and learning. It is in the real world where we truly grow and face the challenges that make us stronger. Ayla contemplated the wise owl's words and realised that she had been taking her life in the village for granted. She had been so focused on finding magic that she had overlooked the beauty and value of her everyday life. With tears in her eyes, Ayla made her decision. She wanted to return to her family and her village. She thanked the wise owl for his guidance and asked him if he knew how she could go back to the real world. The owl told Ayla that she could find a magical portal at the heart of Lumina. To get there, she had to follow the path by the river until she reached a sacred tree. That tree would reveal the portal to her. Ayla set off on her journey, bidding farewell to her magical friends along the way. They were sad to see her go, but understood that her heart belonged in the real world. They wished her luck and told her that she would always have a special place in their hearts. As Ayla followed the river, she couldn't help but look back at Lumina one last time. Even though she was leaving this magical world behind, she would never forget the enchanting creatures and the valuable lessons she had learned there. Finally, Ayla arrived at the sacred tree. Its ancient bark was covered in intricate carvings, and its roots seemed to reach deep into the very core of Lumina. Ayla placed her hand on the tree and its glowing sap flowed around her fingers. 
Suddenly, the ground beneath Isla opened up, revealing a shimmering portal. Taking a deep breath, she stepped into it and was instantly transported back to the cave, filled with crystals. A feeling of joy and relief washed over her as she stepped out of the cave and back into her familiar world. Ayla returned to her village, grateful for her magical adventure, but even more grateful to be home. She reunited with her family, who had missed her dearly, and embraced her with open arms. Ayla told them stories of her journey, and they all listened in awe. As the years went by, Isla often thought about her time in Lumina. Although the magic of that world was no longer a part of her life, she took the lessons she had learned there and applied them to her everyday experiences. Isla grew to cherish the simple joys and challenges of life in her village. She learned that real life was full of its own magic and that the struggles she faced only made her stronger and wiser. When Ayla grew older, she shared her story with the children of the village, teaching them the importance of appreciating the wonders of their world and embracing its challenges. Her story became a beloved tale, passed down through generations. And so with a heart full of love and gratitude, Isla lived a long, happy life, knowing that the magic she sought was always right there within her. <laughs>